okay here what i'm trying to show you is um, a brief overview of 3t dram cell so you have seen the dynamic ram with one transistor and one capacitor uh, there is a version of three transistor dram as cell as well so this is a cell just a simple cell okay uh, when you have memory right like this uh, you have all the address lines and from here do you have data lines right so one cell you can imagine like this oh, and uh, here you can see there are three transistors m1 m2 and m3 how they will be forming the the D, D ram part that's what i'm trying to show you if you have to uh, since it is a ram you can write the data as well as read the data and it is dynamic because it is having that capacitor means capacitor capacitor voltage will be changing it's dynamic right so periodic refreshing and all will be required so how does this work here you can see there are two lines um, a word line or write line you can say and there is a read line you can say so uh, when you have to perform write operation you have to keep high wl line and low rl line means read line has to be low right line has to be high and when you have to read perform read operation then you have to keep wl at low and rl at high first i am showing you the write operation which is very simple just like what you have seen before in one t d ram cell here also it works like this okay now here you can see bl bl bar bit line and bit line bar then m1 m2 m3 this node point is called x i'm just calling it as and then you have a capacitor so when you will keep wl is equal to 1 rl is equal to 0 you are performing write operation so all the transistors m1 m2 m3 they are nmos and they are working in pass transistor logic mode okay means if the input uh, gate input is uh, is logic high uh, the drain and source will get uh, connected if the lo it is logic low they it will be open that's how what you have to think that's why gate source drain is not marked you can see uh, so what happens wl is equal to 1 means m1 will be on right so these two points will get connected at the same time rl is 0 means m3 will be off so this side you don't have to see because it is off right now there is no connection between bl bar and m2 now m2 status depends upon the value of x what will happen now since m1 is uh, on whatever the bit line is carrying will go to capacitor voltage means x is equal to bl voltage means if it is carrying logic high the capacitor will charge with vdd vdd uh, some uh, proportion to vdd right 1 by 2 vdd 1 by 3 or whatever the bit line is carrying so it will charge through m1 if uh, bit line is zero it will discharge to bl through m1 to zero volt or something right so node x with respect to this ground will have either logic high or logic low if it is logic high m1 will be on if it is uh, sorry m2 will be on and if it is logic low m2 will be off right but it doesn't matter what m2 is have uh, m2 is doing because there is no connection here so there is no connection to bl bars in any way right because the the point of writing is you are writing the data into this capacitor so this is your memory part okay you are writing through bl and you have kept the reading part of writing part you are doing so that's how you have to do writing is through so m2 and m3 does not come into picture when you will write the data but m1 will come and through bl it will charge or discharge okay or it will whatever data it will carry so that's how you have to write uh, the data into 3t dram cell now i'll tell you the read operation uh, so where these two guys will come into picture this guy will not okay so here what i'm telling you is about uh, read operation i've just simplified a bit so that you will get uh, the grass but there are a lot more details so uh, here you can see when you have to perform reading assume that your capacitor is carrying some data okay uh, you have written something either zero or either one because it's a cell either it can carry zero or one now you are doing is right line you are doing is zero read line 
you are keeping it as one means m1 will be off and m3 will be on this time right since there is no connection this side capacitor will drive this m2 transistor right whatever the voltage at x now if you have saved x is equal to 1 means like logic high during your right operation what will happen m2 will be on and if m2 will be on m3 will be on your bit line will bit line bar will discharge to zero right means like uh, bit line bar will connect to zero and you can th see that for logic one here you uh, saved the logic one bit line bar you are having zero right means the data was one here but you are getting zero here now there is a small modification you will see when you will have x is equal to zero here right when x is equal to zero m2 will be off m3 is on now what will be the value of bl bar you might think right bl bar will be one why because there will be a pre-charge capacitor also connected like this i am calling it as cp okay this is pre-charged pre-charged means it is already charged through external source and cp is carrying vdd value always okay it is charged to vdd now again you look at this stuff okay wl is equal to zero means this guy is off rl is equal to one this guy is on now if x is equal to one means the stored capacitor charge was high m2 will be on m3 will be on so whatever cp is carrying that vdd voltage will be discharged to ground through m3 and m2 and hence this voltage will be fully discharged and voltage across this will be zero means like bl bar is zero on the other hand if x is equal to zero means if you have stored zero logic zero or bit zero then m2 will be off and if m2 will be off there is no discharging path from m3 to m2 because m2 is off no ground is attached to this line whereas m3 is on both the times here also here also m3 is on but m2 is on in this case as x is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 m2 is off hence there is no path to discharge through m3 hence the capacitor voltage will be intact to vdd means your bit line bar is vdd or logic one so you can see that compare these two guys when you are storing logic one you are uh, getting here logic zero and when you are uh, you have stored logic zero you are getting logic one here because the bit line bar it is okay that's why inverted form you are getting means if you are getting zero here here means you would have saved during right operation logic one if you are getting logic one here means during right time you you are you have saved logic zero okay so just this is the simplified way i can tell you there are some pre-charge capacitor here as well but uh, i have not included it i felt it is not necessary but if you will go in more depth uh, you will be able to uh, find that capacitor as well also logic high i'm just saying here um, when you will be uh, writing the data it, it will be like uh, look at this uh, in this uh, means this much circuit it looks like uh, similar to what we have done when we were charging discharging learning about charging and discharging of capacitor so logic high will not be exactly vdd logic high will be vdd minus vt okay so those things will come into picture when you will go uh, deep into this i'm just trying to give you a feel of uh, how it works so this is about the three transistor dram cell and uh, uh, more depth you will see in VLSI courses I don't want to go into I just wanted to touch this topic so that you will have some idea about it okay so if I feel some other topics are remaining then I'll also include it and then I'll finish this course